Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here with another Plano, Texas video for you. We've been doing a little bit of a series here on downtown areas. And of all the reasons to move to Plano, downtown Plano, Texas is a very good reason to check it out. Got my buddy Mason with me here today because he, as I do, loves downtown Plano. Great spot for a date night, great spot for kind of a day or evening out. Uh, Plano's done a really good job as a city of making... Uh, downtown Plano, which is just on the east side of Plano, east of 75, uh, a neat place to visit. They they built a really nice outdoor stage entertainment kind of concert event area. And there's also a bunch of great restaurants. Uh, there's a few bars down there, event venues. What are some of your favorites? Uh, I've, there's a bar down there that I really like called the Fillmore, uh, really kind of a classic bar that has a lot of great food and drinks. Mm -hmm. Uh, like I said, everything's, like he said, everything's accessible, easy to walk to. Mm -hmm. uh, they have great pizza that I'm a big fan of. They have an awesome coffee shop that I really love that kind of has a uh, more communal feel to it. Yeah. Downtown Plano is surrounded by sort of the older, more historical part of Plano. So there's some businesses in 1800s built homes, you know, 1890s built homes. Um, there's kind of some historically protected area. There's a great city park right there. And there's a public transit dart rail station right in the heart of downtown Plano. So it's accessible. It's easy to get to. Parking isn't easy. No cool downtown area is easy, but there is adequate parking. You might just have to walk a block or two. And they've the city, got, uh, the city's adding parking now. Right. And they've got uh, scooters. Yeah. <laughs> you can always hop on. They have the little park. like uh, QR code, quick app, uh, rental scooter deals that are like you know a buck to cruise all the right. way through downtown. Um, and then there, there's there's some good restaurants. Um, and then there's some uh, great restaurants. I mean, there's a couple of kind of nicer higher end spots down there. Uh, there's a couple of locally owned, uh, I'd say restaurant groups that have multiple spots down and around, um, you know, urban crust, urban Rio is a group. They've got like a rooftop bar on top of really both cool. of them. I think looks part of downtown. Yeah. Kind of sit up there with your friends and see the whole whole part of it. Yeah, and then there's some good, there's some cool locally owned. I mean, like some real estate businesses, attorneys, CPA type stuff down there that you just know they're smaller locally owned businesses, and it's it's encouraging to see them down there. There's a couple of specialty stores down there. There's a scooter shop that you just don't see stuff like that anymore. I mean, everyone buys that stuff online, but uh, I've personally done business with him multiple times because I want to see companies like that really thrive. Um, it's a neat place to be. It's one of the very few cobblestone downtown areas yes. where you've got the you can hear yourself drive through town you know because of the cobblestone but really really neat the public transit makes it really unique compared to a lot of the areas that have really tried to make their downtown areas thrive and, and struggle a little bit uh, but it's a neat one uh, there's a couple of places down there that have you know pool tables shuffleboard stuff like that where they want you to stay and linger and then there's certainly some boutique specialty shops with uh, you know, clothing. And I think there's a high end leather product uh, place down there. And, and really, a, there's a couple of dessert spots, which I think when my wife and I go out for a date, we're always looking for good dessert. And there's not always as many options. It's either go to a restaurant and get something off their dessert menu, but there's some specialty shops down there, which make it really, really neat. And then once you get just out of that downtown bubble, it doesn't really stop. There are some other uh, kind of bar restaurant combination places where they've got, you know, horseshoes and washers and cornhole and things like that with ping pong. It was just kind of a fun. It's got a good energy to it down there. Anything you would add to that? I mean, it's it's easily accessible. Like you talked about at the beginning, five minutes from the major highways. So it's easy to get in and out if you need to just come, you know, hop down 75. If you're coming from the north side of the DFW area or you're coming from the south side. Yeah. Really, really quick and easy to get to. If you're not familiar with it because you're not from the area and you might be thinking about a move to the area, um, it's on the east side of Plano, which is really... Plano's wide, but it, it's not far from the southern edge also. So it's very close to Richardson, which is a huge employment hub. I mean, midday Richardson population is almost equivalent to downtown Dallas. There's some, you know, a, a lot of employment happening there. It's also not far from Garland, Wiley, Saxe, Murphy, Allen, areas like that. Um, so it is situated in an area where if you're interested in moving to Plano, great place to check out. Also, if you're interested in moving to any of those other areas, 
it's a place that's not far from you and easy to check out. And then West, uh, West Plano, uh, not terribly far either. West Plano is known for a lot of very new development where East Richardson has kind of this more homey uh, downtown vibe, which is very cool. Yeah, and if you're coming from the Plano, the relocation video we shot about Plano, if you're coming from that video, uh, reach out to us, ask <laughs> us, you know, is there any other part of the downtown area you'd like to know about? Is there any other part of Plano that you're curious about? I know we got a video coming out soon about the Legacy West area of Plano, yep. which is on the opposite side of Plano. It's really cool, $3 billion kind of complex. And climbing, yeah. yeah just full of food and all sorts of stuff. So if you have any other input that you'd like to share about, hey, what I want to know this about Plano, please reach out to us. We'd love to help. Uh, we've got people who live and work and play all in, all over Plano and have done so for a long time. So we know the area. Yeah, on our team, team members that, yeah. that, that live and, and work and play in Plano all the time. If, you, if you're thinking about a move to the area, we do have multiple other videos on Plano. So check out the channel. We've got information on just relocating too. We've got information on other others of our favorite reasons to make a move, but we do love downtown Plano. So if you have questions, comments, or if you disagree, feel free to do that down in the comments. If we could ever help you make a move to the area, buy or sell, or maybe even invest in the Plano, Texas area, our contact information is below. And of course, we'd love to earn your business and earn your trust and help you do that. So appreciate you tuning in and we will talk to you on the next one. Take care.